First of all, that I've failed as a husband. Sit down. It's very Chris Farley. How long have we been doing this? Be with me. Uh, you're actually going about this wrong. You gotta stop doing that. Hi, I'm Christine and I love adventure and the outdoors and exploring all of it without spending my entire paycheck. I hope you join me in a journey where fitness meets adventure and saving money is just the beginning. <laughs> it's time to pack and I need help. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Can I get your help, please? Yeah. Sir? Okay. <laughs> I've never backpacked before. <laughs> yes, that's true. Do you think this whole thing is hilarious? Pretty, pretty comical. <laughs> but it's gonna be good. It's good. Why for do you, you? Why do you think this is so comical? Well, I feel like, I've, first of all, that I've failed as a husband to take you backpacking. <laughs> We've had little kids forever. I know. And gear is very expensive. It is. And here's the secret: you borrow it. <laughs> you borrow. So I'd say. 80% of this stuff is borrowed, which cuts the costs drastically. Borrowed from friends, but if we get into this, we can get our own gear. Yeah, but this is this is borrowed, as is most of the stuff you'll see. This is the backpack. It's an Osprey. It's, it is a female-specific. You need to have a female-specific bag. Yeah. It, usually, the female bags are curved in the shoulder pads, so that they give you lots of room in the chest. Right, and men don't need that so much. Right. And, and they sit on the hips different. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway, there's the bag. Basically, we're going through the gear right now and eliminating so I can get my bag weight down to like 27 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. It has to be 27 pounds. Oh, because that's what's... Because what... that's what the mules oh, do. Oh, well, this is serious then. So, and then here's the other part. So this is my day pack that I'll be hiking with. And so if in case the mules take longer to drop the bags, I need the appropriately appropriate gear in here to go pick out my campsite, like put a chair, yeah. a hammock, um, probably change my shoes. Not to mention to offload the extra poundage that's not going to fit in the bag. And my lunch. Yeah. Here. Okay. So I have my two bags right there. All right. Let's get started. Let's go. Let's go with like absolute necessary. And that's going to be the tent, which is here. This is a backpacking tent. This is big enough that it should probably go in the big one. It's actually capable of being strapped to the outside. Sure. So there's a couple different ways we can do this. We can actually just take it out of the bag and then you can just put the poles on the outside and stuff the tent on the inside. You're actually going about this wrong. The first thing you want to do is actually look at sleeping bag first. The sleeping bag will sit in the bottom. It's the last thing you need to get out. Of is, your backpack. Is it this one? Yeah. It is. What's that? Uh, that's the tent. That's her tent. That's her tent. We're not doing that one. Yeah, you don't need that. Okay. So this goes at the bottom? This goes at the bottom. Okay. Why? When you get to your campsite, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to pack, sorry, okay. get out the tent. There. Right? The last thing you're going to put in the tent is your sleeping bag, probably. Oh. 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 What do you put down here? This I usually keep for easy access to either food or Close. This is my sleeping mat, also borrowed. My chair is going to go in my day pack. Okay. Um, I might leave the space outside. So if you look here for a second, there are all of these extra straps here okay. and here. Yeah. I can strap easily okay. a tent to the outside of this pack. Sure. Oh, I put some food. You go through in here already. The other thing we do is we make sure there's no... Make sure there's no garbage. Garbage already in here. You don't need to pack garbage in. You just have to pack garbage out. Right. I was going to put my poles. I don't think I'm going to need my poles on the way down. You don't think? No, I like them for the way up. Okay. I really brought them to go up. Your poles are another thing that can easily strap to the outside. All right. So I wouldn't put those in. I wouldn't worry about them just yet. Okay. Just kind of tuck them over there. This is all her stuff. <laughs> I'm going to put my towel in my day pack. I'm putting my chacos in my day pack. Oh, I just saw a size on this. Women's small 16 to 19 inches. Yeah. Okay. Do I want to carry this in that bag? Dishes? I, I would usually say no on the dishes. You're right, because I don't have to cook my lunch. Right. Right. Okay, which pot do you like best? This is the one Andrew took. But isn't that like way more than you need? Yeah, so I usually say you don't need all those things. 
Okay, so, so I, I don't mind this little guy. If you want, so if you want to take that, that one's fine. I would just take the bowl out of it. Okay, this is a super cool product because there's lots of critters where we're gonna be. Two things right here. This is actually a bear bag from my friends who hiked the Appalachian Trail. You put your food and like mice, bears, they cannot bite through this. And so it's gonna like hang from a tree like that. And then this is like a waterproof sitting mat. I find this part to be the most challenging of the entire trip is you have to bring enough food to keep you going and not really cranky for the people you're traveling with but not so much that you have any left over <laughs> that's true so we're gonna go through it strategically right now with you friday morning i need a lunch which will be a sandwich which i will pack like at the hotel in your day pack in my day pack okay so that's irrelevant at this point I'm gonna need dinner on the first night. So I have this chicken teriyaki, like freeze dried, whatever, okay? I do have four packages of Element for salt, which from what I understand is gonna be really important because it's gonna be hot. You're gonna be sweating a lot. Yeah, sweating a lot, so I need those. And I like my little Crystal Light Pure Energy, I have three of those, one for each day. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, not each day. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Breakfast. Jessica says she's doing a light breakfast. So if I have that in mind, I could do like a package of Pop-Tarts. This is 400 calories. Do not underestimate the power of a Pop-Tart. Well, and you don't usually eat a lot of breakfast anyway. No, I'm not really huge on breakfast, but if we are hiking, I wanna have something in me. Some apple cider. That's like 500 calories. Yeah. Right there. That's probably okay. Okay, that's a breakfast. For two of my lunches, Saturday and Sunday lunches, I have these awesome tuna packets. Two lunches, Saturday and Sunday, these tuna packets are freaking awesome, by the way. They're not huge in calories, about 160 and 170. And I have some Triscuits. Okay, so there's my, to this is gonna be my first comment to you. Okay. That's a lot of Triscuits for two lunches. Well, I haven't taken it down yet. Well, no, I'm just saying, you might want to reduce that by, I'm, I'm gonna roughly say half. Okay, I can, about... I can half that. I gotcha. We need to take that smaller. I, I'm, I'm hearing it. I've got dinner on Saturday. Boom, chili mac, freeze dried, whatever. Dinner on Sunday. Lasagna, meat sauce, freeze dried. Sunday breakfast, here we go here. One more of those. Do I have too many of those? Well, did you not want to do a Monday breakfast with these? Maybe. Um, Monday breakfast, the day we leave. That's probably the wrong choice. This should be a different day. One of the breakfasts, I have this like granola add cold water thing. So that sounds fine. One more apple cider. I have two Gatorade protein bars, 350 calories each. These are pretty significant. That's, Drumix. That's to probably supplement everything else that you've got. Correct. So you've got almost an extra 1,000 calories to supplement what you might be short on. Correct. So I would say a sandwich baggie of trail mix might be all you need. Okay. There's one thing I might change. If you wanted to, I mean, this is super light. Yeah, this is like, this This weighs nothing. And how many calories are here? 520. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's a lot. So really all I might do is I might consider changing that out with a protein, take, a protein powder. Take meal. away my granola and add and add a protein powder? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? You could even take out like one of these and add protein powder. My concern is this is not protein. No, it so is not. So if that's like a meal replacement with protein and calories, carbohydrates, that's probably better for you than a Pop-Tart. So this one's 400 calories. It's got 12 grams of fat, 47 grams of carbs, and 30 grams of protein in this. And which is more evenly balanced than a pop tart which is like all carbs and fat right and it's just add water right it's just add water look i gotta think on that and and pack pack my trail mix in the bag yeah a sandwich baggie and no more on that on the trail mix so this is my um this is my food it doesn't it doesn't look like very much no food that's <laughs> what it should look like to be honest it looks like i'm gonna go hungry <sighs> Okay. This is a lot of strategery goes into this. There are some vendors down there. There are a couple of vendors. They sell like Navajo tacos, burgers. So if you wanted to be like, like one dinner <coughs> short yeah. and plan on buying food. This could also happen. What if I'm starving and I'm like, I'm out of food. That's also an option. For sure. I like that idea too. We haven't weighed the bag. No. <laughs> See, let's just weigh the bag. Well, with just the bag, I'm showing like 16 to 17 pounds. Okay, so you're about 24 pounds. 24 pounds. 
like this. No clothes. No clothes. I was gonna actually put a lot of my clothes in my day pack because I was going real minimal on my clothes. <laughs> Real minimal. Do you want to hear? You're going to regret that. Why? That's what I've heard from everybody. I'm going to have a swimsuit that I wear every day, the same pair of shorts every day with like a tank top. Okay, so I'm at 24. <laughs> that weight goes quick. It goes quick. Oh so God. here's some options. You could take the hammock out and you could put the hammock in the other backpack. Yeah. Yeah, I could. It doesn't feel that bad. No, you're, you're not at a 40 pound pack, so that no, feels that, good. It actually feels okay. Like, I'm like, oh, I could hike down with this. this I always felt like my backpacks felt good until I hit 35 pounds. Okay, so I would have at least an easy 10 pounds before I was like, ooh, it was heavy. Yeah. Yeah, it actually feels okay. Shockingly. Okay, we're almost there. We've had quite the snafu this morning. Dude, that is straight down, isn't it? And let me tell you all about the backpacking trip that almost killed me. Yeah. Straight out of like flying. 